Welcome to another mini training. If we've never met, hi, my name is Amanda and I help home bakers market their bakeries on Instagram so that they can get more orders from local customers. Today's training is more so for bakers who have just started their Instagram account but if you've already had your Instagram for a while, you can still watch this training because it's going to help you reevaluate your current profile to see if there's anything that you can kind of tweak. Now, I know a lot of you here are actually thinking about launching soon or you're more in the beginning stages of your home bakery. So this is a really good training for you. It can be really easy to get overwhelmed by what you need to do on Instagram. And I don't want any of you to focus on things that aren't going to really help you move forward. I am all about keeping it minimal, simple, and really just focusing on the foundational basics of Instagram because that's how you can start building more momentum. And again, you just never want to waste time on things that you don't really need for your Instagram account. So if you're starting your account from scratch or you're doing a current audit, the first thing to focus on is your bio. Your bio is one of the first things that people see when they come across your profile. It can take literally seconds for someone to decide if they want to follow you or not. Whenever I take a look at someone's bio, sometimes I can't really tell what they're selling. If they're even a baker, if they have a home bakery. So you want to make it really clear in your bio what you specialize in. Like, what do you sell? Where are you located? You can also include like, do you do deliveries? Is it just a pickup? And then another important thing to include in your bio is an order link. You get one link to put in your bio. So take advantage of that. If you don't have an order link or page, you can just start out with a Google form. If you want more help on this, or you feel like you want a whole other training just on this specifically, let me know in the comments and I'll be sure to do that. The next thing that you want to focus on are your posts. When you're starting out, you want to focus more on educational captions. Now, these are going to help your audience learn more about what you offer, what makes you stand out, and what makes you stand apart from every other local bakery. And you want to include a call to action in a lot of your captions. Now, what I mean by call to action is something that encourages your audience to purchase from you. For example, it can be place your order with the link in my bio. Or if you have any questions or you need help choosing a flavor, leave a comment, DM me. You're kind of telling your audience what you want their next step to be. Because again, if someone is just coming across your profile and they see a caption, but you're really not talking much about the product, they might not know that you're actually selling it. So you want to be crystal clear that you are selling items. Your posts are not just about your captions, but your pictures as well. So try your best to really put out high quality pictures as long as it has good lighting and can really showcase the amazing textures and the flavors of your products. If you cannot take pictures yourself, like I am a horrible cake photographer. So I actually worked a lot with local photographers around me. And what I would do is find other photographers that were kind of just starting out with their photography business and I would do a trade. So I would even sometimes supply a photographer's daughter's birthday party, like their whole dessert spread in exchange for free photos. So there's a lot you can do to be resourceful and get high quality pictures right now. But again, you wanna make sure that your posts have, have those high quality photos and also that you're combining it with captions that are helping your audience learn more about you. One really quick thing I wanna say about captions is make sure that you're speaking in a language that your audience can understand. What can happen sometimes is because you are the baker, because you are the CEO of your business and you're really in it, you might be using terms or phrases that don't make sense to an average customer who doesn't know much about baking. And I see this happen a lot in the wedding cake industry. They might not really understand how big a six inch cake is. So this is where those educational captions come in, where you want to speak their language. You want to include information like how many serving sizes does a six inch cake serve? One thing that you can do is even run your captions by a friend or someone who's not really in the 
baking world and see if it appeals to them and they understand what you're talking about. Another thing you need to focus on are using hashtags. This is another common mistake I see with bakers who are just starting out their Instagram profiles. They post a picture and then they just leave the account. They barely put a caption. Maybe they'll put something very vague like chocolate cake and there's no hashtags. And similarly to using that one link in your bio, you wanna take advantage of the 30 hashtags you're allowed to use per post. If you are trying to get local customers, you wanna be using location-based hashtags. So if you guys are using hashtags like Instacake or chocolate chip cookies, there's a very low chance that someone in your community is going to find you. Remember that hashtags help you get found. They're not just something that you put up. You don't wanna be attracting other bakers or random people from across the world. You wanna make sure that you're attracting local customers because likes and follows don't mean anything unless you're getting actual orders. The next thing you wanna focus on is partnering with other local vendors. This is a really great way to gain more exposure. Um, some bakers will ask me like, oh, should I work with you know a local like lifestyle blogger? I would recommend more so working with a local food guide or food blogger because you know that their audience is going to appreciate food more so than a lifestyle blogger who might be actually attracting more of a global audience. You wanna focus on doing a lot of partnerships and collaborations with other people, other restaurants around you, because that's really going to help build that momentum and get you more local exposure as well. The next thing you want to focus on for your Instagram account are your highlights. Now, I know a lot of you know how to make stories, but you're kind of missing out on the opportunity to turn them into really useful highlights. I describe highlights like the main navigation menu of a website. You don't want to have so many where people have to constantly scroll in order to find information. You want to make sure that your highlights just focus on the basics. If you are a new customer and you want to just find out information really quickly, highlights are where to go. You want to include highlights such as menu, how to order, FAQs, about me, things like that. You don't want to have just random highlights that don't really pertain to your business. That is prime real estate for really quickly understanding what your business is about. So take advantage of highlights. So the very last thing that you want to focus on is you want to be consistent. You want to post consistently on your feed and your stories. You want to start building that audience. If especially you're just using Instagram as your main social media marketing channel, you want to put that time and energy and effort into it so that you can really start building that community and audience and repeat raving customers. I know this can be really hard if you are juggling a day job and posting on Instagram. Maybe set aside some time and choose a number like, okay, I'm going to post three times a week and then batch work. So maybe on a Saturday or Sunday or whenever you have downtime, figure out what you're going to post so that during the week when you are really busy with your day job or whatever else you're doing, at least you know what you're going to post on X, Y, and Z days just so that you can build momentum and really build that audience. Because if your goal is to become full-time with your bakery, you really need to make sure that you're putting in all that marketing effort as well as perfecting your recipes. To recap, these are the main six things that you should focus on if you are just starting out your Instagram account. You wanna optimize your bio. Make sure that you're really clear on what you sell, what you specialize in, and include an order link. Next thing are your posts. So make sure that your pictures are high quality and also you're focusing more so on educational captions with a call to action and use local based hashtags. Next, you wanna partner with local vendors or other local restaurants or boutiques or any type of local business around you that can help gain more exposure to a local audience. Next, you wanna create highlights with really important information. This can be how to order, menu, about me, things like that. And then you wanna make sure that you're posting consistently on your feed and stories in order to start building that engagement with your audience. But if you guys have any questions at all, please let me know. 
Also, if you are really struggling with your Instagram account and you want to learn more about how to work with me, please DM me after this. You don't even have to have had launched yet. Just DM me and I will tell you all about my Instagram intensive. 